This video is going to help clarify finding your heart rate for fitness logs. Oftentimes I get students that wonder how they can complete the heart rate section of their fitness log. They don't want to spend any money, they don't, want, they don't have a heart rate monitor, and I want you to know that you should never have to spend any money on this class. If you're thinking that you need to, you need to contact me because you can do this entire class without spending a dime. Okay, so all you need to figure out your heart rate is either a watch or a second hand on a clock or you can use your computer or your phone and use the stopwatch. What I'm looking for is a six second count of your heart rate. Then we're going to convert that into a one minute heart rate because we all know there is 60 seconds in a minute. So if you count for six seconds, multiply it by 10 or add a zero you will have a 60 second heart rate or a one minute heart rate. So what you're gonna do in the middle of your activity or right when you finish, depending on your resources, you're going to quick find your pulse. And you can do that by either looking in your neck at your carotid artery or your wrist at your brachial artery. And your carotid artery is either of the two large arteries that are in your neck. And they run from your jawline all the way down through your neck. You can see in this picture kind of a gruesome shot, but that's where your carotid artery is. To find your pulse, you will take your two fingers, your pointer finger and your naughty finger, and you will run it down your jawline to your neck, and you'll put a little bit of pressure, not too much, a little bit of pressure to feel that pulse. Now, when you're exercising, obviously your heart is going to be beating faster, so that pulse will be even stronger, so it should be easier to find. Then... You count for six seconds, multiply your answer by 10, or add a zero, and you would record your one minute heart rate in either the cardio section or the lifestyle section of your fitness log. Those are the two sections that you need a one minute heart rate for. Okay, if you would rather look for your pulse in your wrist, you can look for your radial artery pulse. And again, you will use the same two fingers, your pointer finger and your naughty finger, and you're going to be looking on the inside, inside thumb side of your wrist. So just like in the picture, if you move your two fingers down your thumb to your wrist and put a little bit of pressure on your inside of the wrist, you will be able to find your pulse. Again, count for six seconds, add a zero or multiply it by 10, and record it in your fitness log and your one minute heart rate section. If you have any other questions on how to record your heart rate or fill any portion of the fitness log out, please contact me.